Hi, I'm Joel Posey, and I am here with... Daniel Maltzman. Not Danny, but Daniel. Exactly, yes, Daniel. It used to be Danny when I was a kid, but, you know, but I grew, grew up, up, and now it's Daniel. Okay, <laughs> so um, we have actually, we know you. We've seen you before, oh, but you've been I've doing heard this that before. for a while. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, I have. I actually have one of your lovely bands. you got to be kidding me, because I've only done this like two or three times. No, I know, and I was there. I was so at where was it? It you was at tell me. Um, the Connected Gift Suites. I, th I think that's what you guys call them. I don't know. Everybody knows it as a different Which name. band do you have? What color is it? It's... Um, it's it's, it's a blue one, more like actually, more like this one. Uh, and then it has a little bit more okay, spark, like okay, yeah. a little bit of flash of color because okay. I'm a girl I and I wanted I something. Which one it was. Yeah, awesome, yeah. How awesome. do you know which one it was? Do you wear it when you go out all the time? I do, I do cool. wear it. And do people and always say something? They do. That's They're the best fun. thing cool. is because it's unique. As we were discussing, <laughs> it's it's a work of art. So everyone is different. It's and a piece of art. It's kind of like the paintings here. If you take a piece like this and let's find one that kind of works, different color tone. But if that was in the painting, you're basically getting a little piece of the painting in every one of these. So you which makes it kind of cool and unique. These, I do, right? I do. Yes. What's your method? Like, um, do, you, do you put them all on a huge wall and just start like? You throwing? know what? There's about four or five different methods. Sometimes while I'm painting, I will put one on my wrist and it will be just a, basically a flat black, mm -hmm. and I'll just kind of work this type of thing into it wow. and really get it so it becomes painterly. And afterwards, I'll kind of go into it and figure out how to kind of clean it up and make it so it looks right. cool. And it, at the final end of it, because they wrap around, it really doesn't matter that much how the paint is on these. Right. But you know what? More important than these are the paintings. <laughs> ah, yes. Tell us about the paintings. So um, I think when, you're, when you have a business and you're dealing with a small ticket item like these little bracelets, which... Retail at about $200, which I haven't really sent them out to retail yet, but they're very, very close to going into the selling stage. Yeah. Um, these here, basically a much larger bracelet painting. Um, here we go, there we go. And they're usually, most of what I paint is kind of large scale. This here is three foot by six foot. I like to keep them edgy and, and have that kind of painterly feel, but yet sketchy at the same time. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And then also it's, it's the paint that basically gets stained. It's not layering the paint. It's basically using different materials to create a really cool stain. Yeah. If you look in here, the after the stain's out. in, then it's also scratched. So you can see the scratch is coming through. And all of that just creates a much better painting and a much better layering effect. Another important thing is the color usage. You don't see just white. You see a mixture of yeah. different whites with different raw umbers in it, dark umbers in it, yeah. um, you know, chocolate browns and grays and whites. And it's funny when you first look at the painting, it just looks like, you know, it's yeah. kind of black and white. But when you get close to it, that's that's what makes it an interesting painting. At least to me, that that's how I feel. No, of and then course. you can come to something over here, and you've got much more of a color palette. You've got more of the pinks and the greens and the yellows and the beiges. I bet you you could probably name about 20 or 30 colors in here yeah. if you look at the variations of the colors. Yeah, exactly. And then more importantly than that is art is either the painting itself and the aesthetic view of, of what it does for you, but it's also concept. So I've taken concept basically of taking somebody like a Gerhard Richter in terms of the background and Andy Warhol in terms of the front end of the painting, yeah. but changing it so it's not all like Marilyn, it's not all some yeah. you know famous celebrity. It's basically images of women that are models or beautiful women that are friends of mine or you know whatever the situation is, and it just kind of has formed into a huge body of work. Yeah. So now I could be out anywhere. I can grab my little iPad. I can pop this on. Can open it up, and here we go. There's one painting. There's another painting. Wow. There's another painting. And this also comes back to concept again. Yeah. Meet the right people. It's all about what happens with your life. I was out somewhere last night. I ended up bumping into Shepard Ferry and his wife. Incredible people. So cool. But you never know what those little contacts are going to do course. for you. Exactly. And then you can just keep going this way, and it's just a matter of, wow. I mean, you know, hitting work. painting after painting. And everyone always says, hey, you know, you have so many paintings. Why do you have so many paintings? Reason is, I've been doing it for 20 years. Yeah. I love it. I wake up every morning, and 
can't wait to get in the studio. Yeah. And it's, it's you know what? You to do what you it's, love. Exactly. It's a passion. I speak to kids all the time, and I basically tell them how important it is to find something that they really love to do. And that way, you know, in their future, they end up not getting in trouble. They find something they're passionate about. And it doesn't matter if it's art or if it's being an actor or if it's being, you know, anything. They can be a carpenter. As long as they really enjoy what it is that they're doing, they're a step ahead of everybody else in life. It's, it's pretty cool. It's great. Yeah, if we yeah. um, wanted to so, keep up with you online, where should well, we go? You know what? I'm really bad at that right okay. now. I need to I need to make some changes. So I'm going to be working on my Twitter a little bit. Okay. I'm going to be working on my social networking and that call will wait. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hang up on phone. Calls. And you know what? It's just a really cool process. The ride for me has been amazing. I mean, it's crazy. Um, I've got a gallery in Amsterdam now. It's wow. the Amstel Gallery with Petra. She's phenomenal. Right now, while we're doing this, I've got her in Houston right now doing a big Universal show. Oh, great. And I've got four or five paintings that are basically this size. Yeah. And a lot of art collectors and great people in the art world that are buying and seeing. And, you know, one thing leads to another. I also have a gallery in New York that I work with. I've got a gallery in Atlanta. Um, so you, you're pretty much I've, everywhere. I'm trying to get everywhere. Because th that's what it really takes. You can't... Just sell a couple of paintings here and there. You, you got to get yeah. that stuff out everywhere. As a matter of fact, it's kind of crazy because I was in London three days ago. Right when I got off the plane, I got an email saying that somebody here needed uh, a lot of paintings. It was okay. close to 10 paintings. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> so you're like, okay, I got some work I, I ended up having to leave London immediately. Oh, that's so sad. Hopped on a plane, wow. came back here. So but the good thing about it, hours no, the flying. good thing about it is we took four hours in my studio with the designer. We looked through almost everything in the studio. Okay. And we ended up finding eight pieces that are being memoed out right now. Cross my fingers that hopefully it works out. It should. Yeah. And it's in uh, one of the most prestigious homes in Los Angeles. And they're sitting on the walls now. They'll be there for a week. And I'm hoping that in seven days I get a phone call saying, you know what? We want them all. So, you know, that, that's, that's kind of how it happens. And the other great thing about it is just meeting wonderful people and you know as an artist it's like I'm not the biggest artist in the world yet but <laughs> I'm you know I think being a good person and giving back and yeah. doing lots of charitable things and you know not being selfish and you know doing something to, to help the world and, and be a little better of a person really helps out and I think there's someone up there that kind of evens everything out in that respect too. I agree. But it's, uh, I'm blessed. I'm, I'm pretty lucky to have what, what I have love. and do what I do. That's love it, love it. Great, and well, we love your stuff. We thank have, you, thank we you. Have been watching You're welcome sure. to take a little walk around and, and a little tour of the art if you'd like. <laughs> you've got oh, oh. kind of 1940s type of look. That's um, gorgeous. A little bit different than what you see on the other side. Bring you down here. You've got one of my favorites. This is called The Babe, and as you can see, there's a few others that are similar, and every time she's done, she creates a whole new identity. So this was one of the first ones, actually. I did this one in red and one in white that are almost identical to this. And then we'll come down this way. So anyhow, we call this, everyone's always offended by the title, but we, I call it Pole Girl, and it just looks to me like she's kind of hanging from something. Could be a pole. But the funny thing about it is, from the image that I painted this from, there's a block of ice up here, and she's got shackles, basically shackled to the ice, and she's sliding down. So it's kind of cool, and a lot of times I'll do something like this, and instead of the heart that's in the shirt here, it will be one of my images. So there's one down there I'm going to take you to last to show you, and then uh, here we go. Okay, you know when I was talking about concept? If you look at this, this is where the concept comes into play and she's actually stealing a painting I call her the art thief and because she's walking away with the painting and it's cool you can see that the babe comes into play again so she's stealing the painting of the babe but yet it becomes a nice simple painting that somebody can hang on their wall and appreciate 
but at the same time, they get a pretty good concept of what it is. It's gorgeous. Thank you. That. You guys, thank you so much. Thank you for a tour of your own little art gallery. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You never told us. On the internet. What? Anything at all that oh, we can oh, go to. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On the internet, you can go to danielmaltzman.com, and I have a pretty extensive website that I think you can see a lot of stuff. You can always contact me through there. Um, there's a few other websites that I'm putting together. I'll give you one of them. It's 2011art.com, but that I kind of use just to play around with different sites and to figure out how I'm going to better the danielmaltzman.com. So I'd love to share my art with the world, and uh, anybody that would like to see it, Get a hold of me. It's my pleasure. Great, thank, thank you. you. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Cool.